Welcome to East Asia and the second new map for Farming Simulator 25, Hutan Hantai. The Tokyo Game Show is now open to welcome the Farming Simulator franchise to Asia and to celebrate with the reveal of the final map for Farming Simulator 25, releasing on November 12th. Let's go ahead and roll the Tokyo Game Show trailer, revealing Hutan Hantai. Wow, there was a whole lot packed into the last 90 seconds. Let's roll back that footage and take a crack at breaking it all down. Real quick, in the first clip, we have the Izeki rice planter, which we have seen before. But what I wanted to take a note of is the greenhouse in the background. That is no doubt the same sapling greenhouse, which we have seen from other angles in previous game clips. Ooh, a nice peaceful garden with region stylized buildings and of course, a small waterfall. In the foreground, we have an Izeki tractor and as well some beautiful cherry trees in full bloom. In the background, a dense city scene. Take note of the top billboard, it has a nice animation and then we move to an area outside of the city with a Kubota tractor doing some mulching with the train going across the bridge in the background. Now, I first thought that this first scene could be our starting farm with a mix of Asian and Western influences in the structure design. But I do believe with a view that we're gonna see later on in this video, that this might be something else. We now transition to a dock with a huge cargo ship in the background. Some silos in the foreground, which I believe is gonna be a production point and a little trike truck that will be common theme throughout the rest of this trailer. Now let's just pause here and soak this scene in. Completely speechless. And we're back here to the cityscape view from the intro with a few more looks further into the narrow city streets or alleyways. Now I wanna pause the video here and talk about mulching real quick. I've not done mulching in Farm Sim 22 for a very long time, but what we do see here when I roll the video is pay close attention to the stubble and how it is being bent in front of the implement. And I'm not sure if this is a new feature for 25. Let me know down in the comments below. Hutan Pantai, and I may be completely butchering that because Giants really didn't give us much guidance on the pronunciation. But at any rate, this map will take advantage of verticals as we see here in this quick scene of a structure at the top of some long stairs and how far below the fields and other buildings are.
I have to say, I believe the theme of verticals is continuing here as we can see an elevated train line running through or adjacent to some fields. And we have confirmed the D Wolf brand has returned with a red beet harvest going on here and a John Deere 6R tractor pulling that harvester. Of course, rice will be prominent on a map and we see our small utility vehicle making its way along a flooded field to service more saplings to the rice planter. Now there have been some that have sure been worried about forestry returning because at this point we've not really seen any forestry aspects. But rest assured, forestry is alive and well in Farming Simulator 25 across all three base maps. That's something that I really haven't pointed out until now, but I did find it interesting to see an abundance of English signs not only in the city, but here also at the sawmill. Never having been to Asia, I don't know if this is commonplace or an accommodation made for the majority of our player base. Oh, now, I know I said I was done with fog, but you gotta admit, that looks nice. And while we've seen the rice harvester in previous videos, this is our first good look at the inside cab, as well as some nice close-ups of the animations of the rice coming through the harvester along the side. Removed from the hustle and bustle of the cityscape, we've got a mountain village here built into a steep hillside with some extreme roadways winding up and down and around houses and possibly businesses that we might use to buy or sell our goods. The new Kloss Evian in action, looking at the intake animations as well as the chaff animations on the back. Man, that chaff does look nice. Here we have what may be the same Kubota that we saw back at the rope factory on Riverbend Springs, but this time tending to some water buffalo in a new cow pasture. Which then leads us to a collection of short animal clips, goats, water buffaloes, and pigs. Back to our small city by the water, but this time I want to take a look at some of the signs because someone had a really good time making these. Your cow is stuck on the road again? Call us. We move your cow. Moving along. Scoop Haven. And then of course, we've got a cute little pong game going on. And that's a wrap for the trailer, but not a wrap for the blog post. Let's now dive into some of the images shared with us today. Now, this is going to be a different angle to the same street that we just took a look at, only this time at night. And I'd say I can't wait to experience night in Farming Simulator 25 with a new night sky that includes stars and an actual moon. While we do not see any citizens walking the city streets yet, I'm sure we'll see those once the game releases. What we do see is how the light on the streets and the buildings are lit up with neon. Let's take another close look at some of these signs. A neon arcade. Good soup. The Jasmine Dragon Tea House. Noodle Co-op. Star Trekker. And who wants to guess what this one is hidden behind a building? Farm fa what? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And here we have a weather beaten lighthouse at the dock. And it's not a container ship, but a huge grain ship at what likely is going to be a selling station within the city at the base of the hillside behind. A mountain village with steep winding roads overlooking lush farmland. 
And what do I spy with my little eye? Could this be our starting farm versus what we saw earlier in the trailer just a little bit ago? Further in, we see a BGA off in the distance, multiple elevated train lines and roads giving again the map more depth, and maybe a second cityscape on the other side of the hillside. We've got another angle of the hillside temple showing off the evening lighting as well as some accent lighting on the temple buildings with the small lanterns. At first glance, we have here another angle of the city scene, but I feel that there's more going on than that. On the far right, we have the production point that I speculated on earlier on. Maybe it's a canning factory or soup factory. Behind that, we've got several structures that could be more production facilities. And then, well, we gotta take more look at some of these signs. We've got the musical Hats, a fun little play on cats. And then finally, we see road signs and we've seen these earlier in the trailer, but we can see here they're used as direction markers for things like a farmer's market or a biogas plant. Our final two images brings us back to farming with an old Massey 8570. Now, according to internet search, this was produced from 1948 all the way up to 1991 when Massey Ferguson stopped making combines. However, the same search listed a return to harvesters back in 2022. I'd love to hear from anyone in the comments that can either confirm this information with first-hand knowledge or ran an 8570 back in the day. Closing out today's introduction and tease to the new Asia map, Hutan Pantai, we have the Izeki rice harvester overloading to what looks like a lizard branded truck. And of course, don't forget, check out the latest episode of silos and shenanigans now streaming so what do you all think i'm really excited now to see even more of the new hutan pantai map in the coming weeks including the pda and even more video clips if we do get that then expect to see another breakdown video like the one we did for riverbend springs if you haven't seen that video then maybe go check it out after this video I've got a little tick up in the upper right corner. Maybe you're new to Farm Sim Franchise or a longtime player that has been a bit skeptical as to if FS25 will be worth it. If today's information has persuaded you to pre-order, then you could be so kind to use my affiliate links in the description. For those on PC, I have a link to the Giants eShop where you can pick up the base game or the game with the year one season pass. I do get a bit of kickback on the purchase and it'll help move the one sale closer to becoming a gold partner. Only 300 or more sales between now and the end of 2025. <laughs> or maybe if you're looking to pick up the collector's edition, I have an Amazon affiliate link also in the description. This will get you the base game plus a whole lot of add-ons like the USB ignition switch that works to turn on and off your vehicles in game or console players you're not left out because the amazon link will also let you select playstation 5 or xbox series s or x versions if you like this breakdown today then please click that thumbs up to tell youtube that you agree that this video should be recommended to others with similar viewing habits and then lastly why not move from being a silent majority to a silent minority and click that subscription button a large percentage of those of you that watch my news videos are not subscribers. And I'm inching toward a goal of 50,000 subs by the release of Farming Simulator 25 on November 12th. Be sure to come back here later this week for maybe more news about Farming Simulator 25, including even more fact sheets on Friday. Just seven weeks away at this point. Happy farming!